in today's video, we are going to create this branded flat transition that you can use to take your PowerPoint presentations to the next level. Let's get started. So I created this basic PowerPoint presentation and the first step will be to duplicate our first slide. Now on the new slide created, let's select everything, right click, group. Now go to the selection pane and change the name of this element to slide 1. We will continue naming everything so we can easily add the animations we need without getting lost due to names like group 1 or textbox 19. Next go to the second slide, copy everything, paste it on the slide we just created, right click, group and name it as slide 2. Now we're going to add a rectangle like this. This will give us the height of our slide, which is 7.5. If we divide this by 2, we get 3.75, and that is the value we are going to enter here. Let's make this rectangle bigger so it covers the entire slide. Now Ctrl D to duplicate, and let's move this other rectangle over here. Time to name these two rectangles. So, rectangle down and rectangle up. Next, we're gonna remove the outline for both of them. And now we're gonna add our logo. Here I have a dummy logo I created for this example. So let me copy this and paste it here. Let's name it properly. And we are going to add one more rectangle like this. Let's remove the outline and change its color to any bright color we prefer. I will use this one. Let's change the name. Now duplicate the rectangle and rotate the second one 90 degrees. Assign a proper name. Next, select everything. Go to Align, Align Center, Align, Align Middle. Now, while having everything selected, right click and group. Go to Align, Align Center, Align, Align Middle. Now we can end group, and the next step will be to bring this logo to the front. Next, let's click on this rectangle, and we're gonna make it bigger. So right click, size and position. Let's modify the height. We want it to go outside the slide. Go to Arrange, Align, Align Center. Mm, we need it larger. Let me zoom out and try again. Okay. Align Center. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now we're going to change the color of these big rectangles so they match the color of our logo. So click on Shape Fill eyedropper and select the desired color. Let's do the same with the other rectangle. Now, as you can see, here we have a right angle. You see it? Okay, using that angle as a reference, we are gonna rotate our logo 45 degrees. Great! Now it's time to start adding animations, so while holding shift, 
select the two big rectangles in the logo. Go to Animations, click on Fade, open the Animation pane and change the Start to with Previous. Now click on the logo, go to Add Animation, Spin. Let's change the duration to 0.6 and the Start to with Previous. Now go to Effect Options and we're gonna change the amount to 45 degrees. Also, change the rotation to counterclockwise. We are halfway through. Please, if you find this content useful, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I submit a new video. Let's continue. Click on this small rectangle. Go to Add Animation, More Entrance Effects, Stretch. Change to Start to After Previews. Now go to Effect Options and change the direction to From Top. Select the same rectangle once again. Go to Add Animation, Spin. Change the Start to After Previews and go to Effect Options. Here we only need to change the amount to Quarter Spin. Change the duration to 0.6. Now click on the large yellow rectangle. Go to Add Animation, More Entrance Effects, Stretch. Change the start to after previews. Next, click on the small yellow rectangle. Add animation, disappear. Change the start to after previews. Next, let's go to the selection pane. Click on slide 1. Go to add animation, disappear. Change the start to with previews. Go to the selection pane once again, click on slide 2, go to add animation, appear, change the start to with previous. Let me zoom out a little bit. Now while holding shift, click on the logo, the large yellow rectangle and the first blue rectangle. Go to add animation, motion paths, lines. Let's change the direction to up and now we're gonna make sure that everything moves outside the slide when we get to this animation. So select the first animation, click on the red bubble, drag and drop to the desired position, like this. Now let's change to start to after previous. Now let's move the animation for our logo. Please notice that I'm moving the animations outside the slide, but maintaining the relative position they originally have so everything moves as a single object during their presentation. Next, let's change the duration for these animations to 1.5. Now we're gonna click on our second blue rectangle. Go to Add Animation, Lines, and let's move the end position outside the slide as well. Change to start to with previous. And we're gonna use this same duration here. Finally, let's go back to our first slide. Let me zoom in a little bit. And let's take a look at the result. So here you are presenting and now you want to move to the second slide. So you just need to click once and here you have an image of your second slide rendered. Now you just need to click one more time to actually go to the second slide. This is useful in case you want to add additional animations to your second slide. So you first introduce your audience to the second slide by using this custom transition and then you click one more time to show the actual slide to your audience. So that would do it for this video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video, take care and see you next time.